So, so I've been feeling the need to learn more, to push myself, um, all sorts of areas and learning more development skills. And I just, I have a hard time doing it. It just, it kills my ego. I hate feeling stupid. And, um, but I've been really inspired by people like Sean Wang talks about learning in public people like my Martha, my wife, Martha Sharp, my Martha. Oh my gosh. This, this is why this is so embarrassing. Anyways, so I'm going to be learning in public. I'm going to try doing a few videos, walkthroughs, unedited, just just me doing development. And you'll just, you can follow along if you want. Um, this is not a tutorial. It's just me coding and you can see how I do it. So the premise is about seven months ago, I created this <clears throat> extension, a Chrome extension, which was my first one ever. And I put it up on the web store. I had all these great ideas that it was going to like make money and stuff. And it didn't. But it was really fun to do. But now it's not working. So if you go to eBay, it only works on eBay. Because I used to buy and sell collectibles and stuff. So it was, uh, this is something that I would have used. It basically is supposed to show you the, uh, like how old an item is, which eBay does not tell you. So if an item is like relisted and it doesn't sell, or I mean, it's listed for like hundred bucks, doesn't sell, and it's just relisted over and over again for like years. Um, it looks like it was just relisted like a week ago, but I found a way of finding out when it was actually originally uploaded, and a way of filtering that and hiding it from the search results. So I don't know why I'm looking at Hello Kitty here. Um, something manly. There we go. Now I feel a little. A little better <clears throat> so this is the, the state of things I had a I had a algorithm that I was using to basically date the items and I was I deployed that on Netlify as a lambda function which I kind of understand not really but uh, I'm not even sure if that's working because the logs not working I don't even know why it's not working like it's supposed to uh, it's right here where it says zero stale items zero fresh items it should be, uh, if it's showing, I think it shows like 100 or something per page. It should be saying like, you know, 50 this, 50 that. So, and I open up my inspector. So this is fun. Like, we're just going to do a, we're going to debug this. It's been like seven months. I don't even remember how this works. Okay, here we go. Access to H, uh, XML HTTP request at truenew.netlify function slash age. That is my uh, Lambda function. It says, has been blocked by course policy. Response to pre-flight pre request doesn't pass access control check. Redirect is not allowed for pre-flight pre -flight request. Okay, so here's my thing. is like, I think I'm just going to simplify it. I, I put the algorithm on this uh, third part, or not third party, but I, I made it have to like talk to it um, on the Lambda function instead of just having all the code for the algorithm inside the extension because I didn't want people to find out the algorithm and like use create their own apps and you know like this is literally the only place on on the internet that you can find like I'm the only person that knows when eBay listings were actually listed except the people that work at eBay which is really cool but I think I kind of overblew the the importance of it so, and if I'm going to learn in public, you guys are going to find out anyways. So my, my goal is like, I don't even necessarily need to figure out why this request is failing. Um, I'm just going to take the code, the algorithm I have, and I'm going to put it on my extension, just the main extension. So it's not making an HTTP request and it'll be a lot simpler and it should just start, it should work. So. I'm, I'm hoping this takes about half an hour. That's that's probably optimistic. Uh, you, you know how long this video is. I don't. So let's just get into it. I have my code here. I'm still trying to get better at being organized. Um, I have my fresh finder parent file, and then I it's completely separated. So I have the front end, which is the Chrome extension, and I have the back end which contain my Lambda functions. And it, I, don't even, I don't understand how this works. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess it's like you write it in just JavaScript and then it like 
turns into this like massive one line, you know, minified function. This was not a poster quiz. That's English. So here's my beautiful function or algorithm. It's a, it, I'm really proud of it. I actually I am. I mean, I don't know if it's like the written the best way, but I'm super proud of how I went in and backwards engineered uh, eBay's. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I should get into. A, I don't. Need, I don't need to get into how it works right now. You can see all the. I I, I had to actually comment it out because it's so complicated. I I totally forgot how it worked from. You know when I was actually working on it. Um, but basically what, what eBay does is that they turn, um, I'll just give you the, the, the short rundown. If I open this image in a new tab and I look at the, uh, the image URL, so if we just copy this part right here and don't tell me how I, don't ask how I figured this out because it was, uh, it took a long time. But basically if I go in here and I figured out that the last five digits is a timestamp. And this is, and the only consistent thing, like every time they relist a listing, they create a new ID. So you can't base, you can't, there's nothing in the ID that says like when it was uploaded, but they reuse the same photographs, which makes sense because they're super big and they have them stored on some database and they don't want to keep copying the photographs every time someone relists it. So they just transfer the photographs uh, URL along with the new item. But after much pain and suffering and racking my head, I figured out that these five letters are actually a nine digit timestamp in seconds. They are like nine, like it's like 300 million or whatever, like nine digits, right? And anyways, and then my algorithm figure like breaks it down. It's like it's base sixty four. Um, it's a base sixty four numeral system they use. And see like so this one is C I V three E, and that is decoded to twenty eight thirty four forty seven fifty five thirty. And you basically times these numbers by all these different things. Like you times th this column by zero or you don't time um, what's well, powers right? So it's like thirty. Uh, to the power of zero is 30, 55 to the power, or 55, I don't even know, how does it work, how do, whatever, I don't care. I, I learned pr programming because I didn't know math. That's what computers are for. All right, but back to the, back to the thing. Let's figure out why this isn't working, and let's, uh, okay, now number, number one, like when you're working with extensions, like I never made an extension before, I've only made one. I don't remember how it works. I don't even remember how to like develop an extension. I don't, I don't remember. So <sighs> I know I have to be in developer mode. Okay. So I'm in developer mode and somehow like this file on my computer, go away, go away. Okay. So we don't need the backend. Just forget the backend. Somehow I need, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, Chrome extensions are actually really easy. You just need a manifest.json, a little icon, and your uh, code. So it's actually, it's really cool. And I probably should, will make more in the future, maybe. Um, but for now, let's figure out how to develop Chrome extension. Okay, so th this is my normal development style. I, I Google something, I pick one of the first results, and then I scroll down. I don't even read it. I just don't, don't even read it. It's not even mo most of the first, most of it's not even important, right? <laughs> okay, blah 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 blah. We already made it. We already built the UI logic. Blah 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 blah. Test. Okay, whoop, here we go. Testing it out. It's really easy to test a new extension in Chrome. Type Chrome slash extensions. Okay, that's where we are to bring up the extensions page. Once on the page, check developer mode, which we did, to enable loading unpacked extensions. Okay, unpacked, that, that rings a bell. 
This will allow you to load your extension from a folder, click load unpack extension, or simply drag the G blah, 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 blah. You should immediately see the extension show up as a browser action within your icon in the toolbar. So what do they need? Uh, poo. Just this, uh, all right, let's just give it a shot. Load unpacked. Okay, sweet. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, don't look at my stuff. Is there anything embarrassing in there? No. Good. <laughs> this is a, I don't like screen recording. Not that I ever do anything embarrassing or have any embarrassing files on my computer. But uh, it happens. What am I doing? I don't know. There we go. Okay, fresh finder. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this is it. This I think this is an unpack extension. Okay, come on, please, 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 please work. There it is. Okay, 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 okay. So I think I have to remove the live one. So I'm going to remove that one just so it doesn't conflict. I don't. I, I'm not sure what would happen. Okay, so I remove the live one. Excellent, excellent. And this one, you know what, just screw you. Like I said, I don't, I don't think I need that Lambda function anymore. Aha, and it's still on. And let's just make sure that this is the right extension. I'm gonna go into uh, the, uh, let's, uh, let's find out where that title is. And I'm just going to, and this is really embarrassing, but I just, I just built all this, it's just like HTML. Um, Cause I was really, I was not, the styling was not my, uh, not the part I was excited about. So, where's the fresh? And like I said, it's been seven months. So I have absolutely no idea how this works. Go for fresh finder. Aha, there it is. Fresh finder. So I'll say fresh banana man. Oh, right. And then I remember you have to go here and reload every time, which is super annoying. Come on, baby. Come on. No, maybe this is the wrong place. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I have my extensions. I removed the other one. Turn it off. Let's just make sure this is even working. Um, Lord of the Rings Donuts. No, there's not enough. Lord of the Rings Snuggie. No. Beanie. Oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, so if we turn it back on. Okay, so it pops up. Yes! Yes! Fresh Banana Man. Woohoo! Okay, so first rule of development, never develop blind, which I do all the time. Always be reiterating over I mean, always be refreshing, always be re-rendering, never code a bunch of stuff, assuming you know what's, what it's going to do. Always have proof that what you're doing is doing what you think it is. So I'll put that back to FreshBinder. Great. Now, this is gonna be pretty simple. I think I can get rid of this. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my, uh, to this large 
algorithm I have here. And I probably should I uh, I probably should put it in a different file. Um, I'm super bad at that. Like look, look at this. 365 lines. <clears throat> and all I'm going to need, I'm not going to need any of the HTTP stuff. I'm just going to need this. <clears throat> all these functions. So let's make another file. And I will call it Age Wizard. <laughs> no, I'll call it Time Traveler. Or just Time Travel. Or Time Machine. No. Time Dude. Naming things is hard, right? That's, that's, that's what everyone says. So what does it do? It basically, it takes... Oh, decoder. I'll just call it decoder. Or decryptor. Decoder. There we go. Easy breezy. And where did it. Where is it? Is anyone else confused? I am so confused. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where that just. Up here. So I'll start by just copying all of this from age.js. I'll paste it in there. Oh, the other thing I should do is create a new like git repo and everything, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go super quick. I don't want to make this too long. So like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is not, I'm not, do not do what I'm doing. Like I'm not a teacher. I'm not an expert. I've been doing development for about a year and a half. I'm not sure how I got a job. This is completely uh, unapproved by the official JavaScript teaching authorities so I'm not responsible for anything you learned all right and get rid of these get rid of this exports handler oh this is so much simpler okay uh, decode base 64 okay so I have a couple large functions excellent Excellent. Okay. I love being able to collapse things in Visual Studio Code. Beautiful. Oh man, this is so this is so good. Hmm. So good. And I'm like immediately look at this. Like that looks stupid, so I can get rid of those parentheses. Now it matches. Um Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't remember how this works, so I'm pretty sure translate, I think I do it from kind of like top or bottom to top. So the first, uh, the first ones are, uh, the first function that's used is translate date codes. Oh, okay. This is kind of like the parent. This is like the parent because the translate date codes uses decode base 64 and calculate age and then I think get time is used by um, it's used by calculate age okay 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 this is great loving it loving it loving it loving it loving it loving it um, so basically translate date code so I I could just export X, oh shit. How, do, how does export work? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Is that better? It's really embarrassing. Um, this is like, like what, my job and stuff. Like, I, can, I do all this code and stuff, but like no one's watching me. I can just like, you know, Google stuff. I can look at other people's code that they wrote, and it's much less embarrassing. So I'm going to. I'm going to export that, and I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So then, background JS. I am just going to import that. Oh crap! 
It's one giant object. No. What is this? Why is it wrapped? Why is it wrapped in that? I don't know. Can I even import anything? I don't know. Now you may learn how to Google because I am an extremely good Googler. So if you just follow me, what I'm typing, I'm an amazing Googler. I'm so good at Googling. Look at this. Here's a Medium article. Blah, blah, blah. It's not possible to add module script tag. Uh, using import, export, and background JS will result in an error. Okay, so I mean the short answer is, oh crap, I just got water all over the computer. Oh, damn. <sighs> so short answer is it's possible. Long answer is that it's a pain in the ass. So like I said, I'm not teaching you best practices because I don't know them. <laughs> so I am just going to be a just a naughty naughty person and I'm just going to paste all of these right up here oh yeah oh yeah but I will I will I will minimize them here we go and translate date codes is going to be called oh yeah no, no, no exporting Okay, so yeah, and it's grayed out because it's not being called by anything. Perfect, because before it was being called like in the HTTP request handler. And now I just need to find out where we make that request. And also, did you notice I'm coding blind? I'm, which I think I, I think is required. I don't think I can actually test any of what I'm doing right now. This is so embarrassing. I'm going to minimize all this so you can't look at how I did my HTML. <clears throat> no looky. I'm very I'm much more proud of the algorithm, much less proud of my CSS and HTML. Okay, here we go. Get ages. Dun, dun, dun. URL. We can get rid of all this crap. This is where I made my XML HTTP request. Which I was really proud that it worked. I mean, it is super proud, but it does make it more difficult having two different things to debug. Um, and I would recommend if you can, if you're doing an extension, just do it all in like this background.js file. Do not try to use an API. And it slows things down too. This should be a lot quicker. All right. So, git ages, item URLs. So, who calls git ages? Okay, where does it send state dot ages equals results dot dated items? Add ages to items. Result dot dated items. So the first thing we want to do is I just want to pass this in. Is the item URLs. But my question is, like, where is it actually sending the item URLs to my Lambda function? Open post URL, set request header, content type, application JSON. I'm so good. Oh, it's down there. JSON sent XHR. Send json.stringify item URLs. Okay, perfect. So I think what I'll be able to do is I'll just be able to copy this onto state. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to log um, I just want to see what comes back from uh, 
from my four algorithm functions up there. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to comment that out, and then this whole bunch of code, oops, comment it out as well. Okay, sweet. Now we're actually ready to reload the thing, Majing. And no, I was confused. I mean, ah, yes, yes, dated items. It's sending back an empty object. What? <laughs> what? So I just copied that and we're going to do item URLs. So let's, let's find out where, where we're sending my algorithm first. Come on, baby. What do I have to do? Oh, wait, I have to reload it here. Uh, did that. And then, oh. Ah. Item URLs is an empty object. <laughs> this could be the issue. It could have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the. Yeah, that's probably why. It, well, no, no, I don't know. All right, so now we got to track it down. So item URLs is here. Oh, wait, it says uncomment for debugging. No, oh, no, what? What in the world? Result, state, ages, result, Netlify dates. What is Netlify dates? I'm so confused. I think I can just get rid of this. Done. I don't know. Whatever. Get ages item URLs. Oh, semicolon. <laughs> State dot item equals items build item URLs equals build item URL. So that's just returning an empty object. Why is it returning an empty object? So I'm going to. Uh, what it's supposed to be doing is supposed to be getting an array of all the the items you know on the page like 25 or whatever and then it's goes dives in and figures out and probably what happened and this is what the main issue with like extensions in general is that eBay's probably changed the class names or the IDs or something so I'm looking for some element that doesn't even exist anymore um, that's my guess what happened. So we're just gonna run through this and uh... Oh, oh no, no, look, 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 look. Okay, so that's good. I'm I am i am getting the items. So the items are uh... these massive things. Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Gollum, Laplander, Beanie. Great. That's too confusing. What should I say? Um, happy person. <laughs> oh, wait, no, treasure. We're looking for treasure. Treasure. They're all Hot Wheels. Treasure chest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, cool. But those are just, that's not actual treasure. We want like gold. Gold bar. Oh, there we go, $2,000, $3,000. All right, now we're talking. 
Okay, so at some point between when we get the list of items on the page and to where we try to get the URLs, everything's breaking down. Oh, sorry. Oh, oop, oop. There we go. Now you can see me again. I'm trying to do this really weird thing where you can see my face down here. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? What's happening? Code editing redefined. Why am I looking at this? What is this? What is this? Why is this even open? Closed, saved? Come on. Come. I don't want a browser. I must have hit something and opened the browser. Please hide the browser. Please hide the browser. I don't want to see the browser. I have my own browser open. Close all. Yes! I forgot what I was doing. Okay. So we have the items and item URLs is an empty object. And interest. So that's the thing. Oh, if item.id, this must be what it is. Um, it's never getting inside this this try block. Um, I almost guarantee you. So I'm just going to console log the item. And I almost guarantee you there's no ID. Um, I like putting it up. Okay. So that makes the most sense to me. Reloading. Go up here. Reload. And here's all my items. Okay. Now that is a an li HTML element. Why the why did I think it had an ID? What? If item dot ID. Yep, I'm looking at the wrong, this is the wrong div. I don't know what this is, but it is not, this is not the right collection of, of items. Crap. I mean, that's the thing too, like like I said, like you could have an amazing extension, it's working perfectly, and then the site you're trying to use it on changes their code and it completely breaks it. Another reason this is not a good business idea. Let me, uh, let me just take a look at what's going on here. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get the image URL, okay? I'm trying to get the image URL. But, oh no, but I also, I think I want the entire item. Okay, so yeah, this is it. This S, S item class. Okay. Why did I think it had an ID? If item.id. What in the world? Okay, so you know what, let me just run the, uh, instead of trying to do it in this, this is actually the smarter way, is just to do it in my own console. So I'm going to do const items equals this. If I do that, it says HTML collection 61. Okay, perfect, perfect. And now I'm going to go to uh, build item URLs. And I'm not going to run this loop. I'm just going to try to select one, um, one of them, maybe uh, number what one? 
See, some of these are not... I'll do like... Uh, oh, wait, perfect. Okay. See, look at that. Highlights it. So number three. So I'm going to do number three. If I do item now... Okay, perfect. So here's my list. Okay, great. Here is my div. Now, <laughs> item.id? Yeah, it doesn't have an ID. It's HTML. I don't get it. I don't get what I was even thinking. I don't get how this worked before. I really don't. I don't understand. I really don't. I mean, so let's see if can I can I do item not get elements by class name? Let's let's see if I can get that URL at least. Okay, so that's working. Okay, okay. Why? What? Item.id. I'm like doubting my sanity right now. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna keep this in the cache block. I'm just gonna see if that changes. I mean, there must be some edge case or something that that solved, but I really have no idea. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, here we go, perfect. Perfect. We have our uh, item URLs, this big massive object. We have our dated items, big massive object. And if I scroll up, I'm still not, it still says zero stale items, zero fresh items. But we are getting, we're getting data. Awesome. Okay, see so here, this is what it looks like. I used the entire, this was probably a terrible practice, but I, it made sense to me. I use the entire URL as the key for the object, <laughs> which is, I mean, look, look how long that is. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, but it makes it really easy to, you know, to, to access the data. So here's the, the, the time in days, the time in hours, the time in minutes, and then the upload date, which is like a special epoch time. And of course, eBay, eBay, being eBay, they didn't even use the standard epoch time, which is like from January 1st, 1970. They used their own stupid random date. Um, which I had to reverse engineer, and that took forever. Oh, excuse me. Oh. All right, well, it's been about half hour. I, I feel like we're, we're really close here. So let's just find out why it's not uh, why it's not updating now. So I can uh, I will remove my console logs. Oh, that's why it's not updating. It's because I have this commented out, and I don't think I need a. Uh, State dot ages equals. I think I need to say dated items, and I probably don't even have to call it dated items. I can probably just do this. Delete that. Delete that line. Delete. Oop, damn it. Delete that line. Delete my other console logs. Delete. Delete. All right, sweet. Why do I have? Why do I have this console? What? 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 Why do I have that completed? Oh no. Completed time. Why do I have this? I don't even understand what's going on here. But that's fine. Let's reload it and see if it is working.
cannot read property href of undefined. Okay, so we have an edge case here. Um, so in build item URLs, it's looking for this href right here. And okay, so item .get elements by class name. All right, that does not exist. So So why don't I just put that in there like that? That's really janky. Because eBay is kind of tricky. They'll have like things with the same class that aren't actually items, but they just have the same class name. Just I think to confuse people like me. Um, they confuse like you know, web crawlers and people trying to steal data. Can I read property href of undefined? Oh wait, oh I'm so silly. Updates update stale display. Oh this is the same oh this is really okay, that's the same code as down here. So I don't even know if I need that up there. I'm really gonna have to dig into this and figure out why. I mean, it looks like I have copy and pasted code, which is not good. So I reload this, reload this. Oh good, okay, we have a new, we have a new one. Can I read property push of undefined? This is not my code. Okay. <sighs> okay, so that's working. This is the problem I was I don't even know where it's breaking. I was doing some pair programming with one of the senior developers at my on my team and he gave me a little bit of advice. He was like, Nat, um, you, you seem like you get frustrated very easily. Actually, I think he gave my manager that feedback. And then my manager passed on to me. So, and I, I totally agree. This, this is one reason I'm doing these like live challenges like this. Um, oh my gosh, I stopped. You, you can't see me anymore. Uh, it just turned off. Oh, there I am. Hi. I don't know if people really care about my face here, but there we go. I'm back. <clears throat> Let's wrap this up. This should be updating. It's not. I tried to warn you, but nobody listened. Update still display. I don't, even know what, I don't even know where it's breaking anymore. So I guess we just got to go through our code and actually figure out <laughs> figure out how it's working. Okay, so get ages, item URLs, build, item URLs, return, item URLs. Oh, no, wait, get ages, 
state.ages equals translate date codes. Add ages to item. And when I say items, I'm talking about the actual like HTML element, I'm pretty sure. And so that's why I, I think that's why I use the URL as the key is because then I can go inside like the HTML element and basically say if the href equals this key, do stuff. Okay, well, why, why can't I just see zero stale items, zero fresh items? I mean, okay, there's the ages. Okay, see, that's that's good. Oh, that, that's fine. And here's the collection. Okay, so I think this, this is working. Oh, wait, here's the stupid item ID again. Why are there item IDs? Okay, we need to find out. This does not... Did I? <laughs> what is state dot ages? State dot items. Where does that get set initially? Yeah, I don't think they ever have IDs. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say for right now, I'll say if true. There must have been some Well I'll do the same thing here, just because we were running into us. I, do, I, do, I tend to get a little impatient. So once again, sometimes you can learn more by saying what not to do as opposed to what actually you should be doing. This might be one of those situations. Okay, well, hey, we're, whew, this is good. This is good. We're getting different errors. Reference error, completed time is not defined. Great. Great. Yes. 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 This is good. Okay, for some reason I had this commented out. Man. Okay, this is. I do not understand what was going on. Why did I have these console logs? Why did I have. I can probably just delete this. Always. If you have code that you're not using, please delete it for your future self. Just to be nice to yourself. Like it is so confusing. <laughs> yes! Oh! See that? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 That was that was a struggle. So now you can actually see it. Now I can actually show you how it works, which is really cool. Okay, so see we have all this gold here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> so basically. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, let's do 500 days. Okay, so what that's saying is that I do not want to see any item that is less than 500 days old. And the fact that there's 11 stale items, which means that they're older than 500 days on here, shows you, well, I mean, actually, it's probably one of these where it's like, they, they just list it and they just keep selling the same one over and over again. So let's look at something like 
that's more like one off. That's not like a, like a used MacBook. Okay, so here we go. 53 items are less than 500 days old, which makes sense. Look at this, this was only listed 18 days ago. Um, so then if I do like one day, now when I was buying like stuff on eBay to resell it, like I wanted the stuff that was like super new that had never been on eBay before. I wanted like, you know, the cream of the crop, fresh pickings. So like one, oop, no, not don't turn it off. Okay, so one day and then anything less than a day, I do, I split into hours because I know the hours, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then you can either hide or you can fade them. So these are showing you the older ones, but they're just faded out. So I like, I like the hide and then it just, it just does display none on any, any, uh, listing that is older than what you preset. So here you go. Three hours. So if I knew more about computers, I could be like, Oh my God, it's only $36. And I would buy it super quick before anyone else saw it. Well, I mean, that's the theory. But anyways, it's working. Super happy. I'm going to upload this uh, to the Chrome store and then keep... I think I'll completely refactor this as a completely new extension. Um, and, but that'll be a different video. So thanks for following along. Glad we finally got some success. And oops, I don't know what that's doing. <laughs>